Well, hello there. Today we are looking at the Logitech Pebble M350 mouse. It's sleek, it's simple, possibly good looking. Should you buy one? Well, let's have a look. Let me start with the unboxing and then we will talk about the features. In Australia, this mouse is usually distributed in this pretty standard Logitech print box. Other places you might find these selling in a different packaging but the product is still the same. Inside the box we have a bunch of paperwork and the mouse. There is a little paper tab that isolates the battery from making connection, pull it out and the mouse is good to go. Now. Let's talk about the physical features. The top cover of the mouse lifts off rather easily. It's held in position with magnets. Pretty smart design. Inside we have a convenient place to store the receiver and the battery is accessible from here as well. Logitech does not state the protocol the receiver is using. They just call it a nano receiver. But I have checked the mouse and it does pair seamlessly with unifying receiver in case if anyone was wondering. While on the subject of connectivity the receiver came pre-paired but uh, the mouse can be paired via Bluetooth as well giving you some additional flexibility. Now the mouse itself. It is slim and has a matte finish. I did not think much of it initially but upon using it for a bit started to like how it feels under the palm. Speaking of which, since the mouse is slim it needs a bit of getting used to but overall it's simple and easy to use mouse. The shape does not present any negatives as far as ergonomics go. Functionally, the mouse presents the basics. Left and right click, scroll wheel with middle click and that's it. No other buttons. The button themselves are quiet. Not completely silent but Logitech has done away with the metallic click that we are traditionally accustomed to with. There is tactile feedback which is distinct every time you click no matter how fast you click. So minus the sound of clicks, the tactile feedback is sufficient to functionally use the mouse. The scroll wheel is slightly wider than the average mouse. It has stepped rotation and is somewhat quieter than the average mouse as well. So from use point, the mouse does bring a difference of experience and yet functionally this is as using any other average mouse I've been using so far. So, one reason why this silence is useful is that these days we are working from home and we may have reasons to keep noise level down. Maybe there's a child sleeping nearby. Trust me, I've been there where I didn't want to wake my kids up or some other reason similar to that. At the bottom of the mouse there is the sensor which uses invisible optics so no red light and there are on off switch and a button for connectivity. Logitech claims 18 months battery life, which I believe is true. I have had no issues with Logitech's battery life uh, whenever they claimed whatever. It usually works that far. So, in conclusion, it comes down to price. Currently in Australia, the M350 is retailing for about $39. With some places, it can be snapped up for cheaper. At this price point, there are some value in this product. There are some competition at this price point as well like uh, Microsoft Surface Mobile Mouse. If you want to consider an alternative, there are a few other cheaper but perhaps not as slim uh, mouses out there. Plus, the brand name of Logitech carries much weight as far as quality is concerned. So there is that. All in all, I like the quality of the mouse and its usability. 
and can recommend it subjective to how good a deal you can find. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I welcome your comments about what you like or dislike or what sort of videos you might want to see in the future. Also, while you are here, please do subscribe to this channel and also check out my other channel, Property Technical, in case if you are wondering how to make some money using properties. I'll see you next time. Until then, you take care of yourself.